Hello and welcome. I'm your host, David Hoffman, and in this episode of Assembly Language 101, we'll be taking a look at controlling a two-lead bicolor LED. Since we covered creating and setting up a project in MPLAB in the first episode, I won't cover that again. But I will be starting with the assembly file used in the last episode, since this file is very close to what we'll need in this episode. So if you are following along, go ahead and pause the video so you can get set up. Okay, so bicolor LEDs actually have two LEDs in them, with their leads connected opposite each other. So when the anode of the LED is connected to positive and the cathode to negative, we get one color. And when the LED is connected with the opposite polarity, we get another color. So let's go ahead and wire up the bicolor LED to the microcontroller. For this, you'll need a bicolor LED, a resistor in the area of 390 ohms, and a short length of wire. First, insert the LED near the RA0 and RA1 pins on your microcontroller or the Mini 28A. Next, connect the resistor to RA0 and the other end of the resistor to the anode of the LED. Lastly, connect the wire to the cathode of the LED and the other end to RA1 on the microcontroller. And that's it. Okay, so there are three states we need to code for to correctly operate the LED, and they are color 1, color 2, and off. Let's begin by getting rid of all the code we don't need, so we can get rid of these lines here. And we don't need these lines here. Okay, we'll keep the rest of the code since we'll be using most of it and just modify things as we need to. Now we need to create some labels. So let's go back up to where our variable definitions are and create several labels for our LED. The first label we've named LED1 underscore AN and assigned it to port A bit 0. The second label is defined as LED1 underscore CA and is assigned to port A bit 1. Alright, now we need to create the three subroutines that will control the LED for us. So, scroll down to the bottom and make some room. The first subroutine we'll call LED1 underscore red. And we'll want to set the anode to 1 and the cathode to 0. So the commands are The next routine will call LED1 underscore green and the code here is the opposite of that for LED1 underscore red. And the last routine we'll call LED1 off. And we just need to set both LED1AN and LED1CA to zero. Now we just need to call our routines in order and make sure we pause long enough between each chain so we can see it. So let's add the following lines to the main routine. Okay, that completes the code, so we just need to compile and then program the microcontroller. And everything works as it should. As you can see, the LED first goes red, then green, then turns off, and then cycles back around. Adding more LEDs is as simple as connecting them up and adding the subroutines to control them. 
but be mindful of the maximum current draw for the microcontroller as well as the port. And in the case of the 16F882, the maximum current draw for the MCU is 95 milliamps, and for the port, it's 90 milliamps. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Assembly Language Programming, and in the next episode, we'll be taking a look at three lead bicolor LEDs and generating additional colors with them. Thanks for watching.